We will continue uh, our partnership with the Greater San Marcos Partnership to bring more companies to San Marcos that will provide uh, an economic, um, a living wage uh, to our residents and also with benefits. So we need to continue that. And also on affordable housing, there are multiple ways to achieve that. One is through partners, such as Habitat for Humanity. We have amended our land development code in order to provide for more density. And, um, and back to the economic development, if you've got a good job, that's going to help you afford uh, the housing that is available in San Marcos. And one good job with benefits is so much better than multiple part-time jobs without benefits. You know, you're working fewer hours a week, better pay, and you have time to spend with your kids, sports activities, help with homework, whatever it is that you want to do without having to work two or three jobs. I was the chair of the Citizens Advisory Committee on the uh, most recent uh, comprehensive plan, served on the one back in the 90s also. And one of the things that we found in the last year is that developers were coming in wanting a certain, to build a certain housing product, but we didn't have quite the zoning district for what they were seeking. And so there were some things that the City Council and or the Planning and Zoning Commission turned down because of uncertainty. Everyone wants certainty. And so um, at, uh, uh, I provided some information to staff. There were some friends of mine, we worked on it. And we brought that information to staff and we added two new zoning districts that I do believe are going to assist us in providing a zoning district that we will approve, which is exactly what the developers had asked for. The problem is there were other, um, housing types in those categories that we were concerned about. And we said, well, we want A, but we don't want B and C that's in that category. So now we have categories that offer just A, which is what the developer was asking for in the first place. And so I'm hoping that that's going to help us uh, have some districts that we can approve and work with developers who are bringing housing to San Marcos. So in one of my previous answers, I referenced the SMTX for All Housing Task Force recommendations. I think that, first and foremost, would be the only way that I would amend our land development code currently because that went through a citizen-driven process and it had buy-in from the greater San Marcos community. I think additionally working with the San Marcos Area Chamber of Commerce and also the Greater San Marcos Partnership, our economic development organization for the region, it's in that way that we attract businesses to either expand or relocate or invest in our community. I just read recently that Kyle announced another um, employer relocating to that area. So although we are currently in the midst of an economic recession, people are investing. But I think there's this perception that San Marcos is not business friendly. And that directly impacts our residents who need those living wage jobs that provide benefits and income.